Hi everyone, welcome to Bet 10 of Cheltenham 2024. I chronicle my bets on Cheltenham just so people can see how I've done now. That doesn't mean anyone has to follow them in, it's just a record of my bets as I go along Cheltenham. Um, and I've done this for a few years now. So this bet is going to be a £25 win double. It's going to be, I know people are going to raise their eyebrows at this, but it's going to be, the first part of it is going to be Fossil Vega and the Turners. And a lot of people watch Cheltenham Chat will think that, why am I not going for Iroko? And it's because he's not had a prep. We've not been able to see him again. I actually don't like the jockey booking either for him. I'm not a big fan of John Joe O'Neill Jr., to be honest. Uh, um, if he won with the, the bets I placed early season, I'd be happy enough to lose my video bet. But I just feel that his prep hasn't been that great and uh, I can't put him up on a bet for other people are watching with the preparation he's had. So Fossil Vegas won the champion bumper two years ago. He's second in the Supreme. And although his fencing career hasn't gone to plan so far, I don't think two miles has suited him over fences. And I think Willie got it right with Gaelic Warrior on Tuesday. And I think he may, by stepping this horse, be getting it right as well. So stepping up to two mile four might suit this horse, I think. And so I'm going to go with Fossil Vega, especially on this very deep ground. At 11 to four, he's the first part of the bet. The second part of the bet is in the Mayor's Novice. It's uh, Brighter Days Ahead, who you don't hear Kalantra House screaming from the rooftops about one very often, but they have been about Brighter Days Ahead, and she does look a very, very high-class mare. Her performances back up the reputation she has. She's shown good form at Down Royal. Her last race was very good as well. She is a top-class mare. Now, she has top-class mares to go against Jade de Gru, she's done absolutely nothing wrong this season. And Dysart Enos is getting five pounds off the top two. But I just feel that they don't get it wrong very often at uh, Calantra House when they really, really top one up. So I'll go with brighter days ahead. So the bet will be a £25 win double in the Turners, Fasel Vega, 11 to 4. And in the Mayor's Novice, Brighter Days Ahead at 13 to 8. I'm putting the bit up now because I think the 13 to 8 Brighter Days Ahead may come under quite severe pressure. So wish you well with your bets and uh, hope to help them's going well for you so far. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.